It's the Kevin McKelvey Show. Kevin McKelvey Show. President of my Obey in the backyard. I tell you, eat shit in the barnyard. You are poor. Go eat shit. Yes, you should. I am a ladies' man. I give him cream in the cargo van. Yes, sweet cream. Mm -hmm. Put it on the lettuce or cake or whatever you want. Okay. It's the Tom and Nick Ellen Show. Tom and Nick Ellen Show. I'm cool, yes, I am. Can you will you Tom Van McKelden fans, especially you sexy women who demand to see me and my this stupid channel? This is Maple Grove, Minnesota and Suburban Community News. And I just tell the facts. And I know you want me to tell the truth and I'm what I'm gonna do. Especially for you sexy women who wanna see me in person, of course. And then we can have some fun. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the news, okay? This is from May 2nd, 2022. Minneapolis Public Schools add violence interrupters to provide after school safety to replace armed police at school. Well, if they don't want the armed police at Minneapolis Public Schools, we'll take them in their suburban schools so those poor people don't go in and stay in trouble with us. We'll take them. Good officers, you're more than welcome to go to our school and use any force necessary to help us rich kids, okay? And we help us. And we'll be nice to you in our own way. You're welcome to come. Stupid Minneapolis. Ugh, no wonder there's so much crime. High V, which comes from West Des Moines, Iowa, is not building a grocery store in Maple Grove. i tell you what. I told the city council that... We need higher class grocery stores like Lund's or Byerly's. Okay, Hy-Vee's a good store. But that's more of a middle class store. Maybe they can go to uh, places like Bloomington or uh, Richfield or something like that. You know, when the lower class suburbs. I mean, we don't need the lower class to come to Maple Grove. I mean, it, it'll lower property values. So, I convinced the city council and I convinced Hy-Vee not to build this story in Maple Grove. Now, I know, I know you're thanking me for it. Well, you're welcome. Glad to do it. Now, police are investigating two dead in a Maple Grove home at 6200 Magda Drive. And, uh, they were found deceased. There is no threat in the neighborhood or the general public. Hopefully... They died of natural causes, cause if there's, there's some murders out there, and it's probably from the scumbags from those lower class places like Minneapolis, St. Paul, and those low class suburbs. I'm just trying to keep my maple grove. It's just not easy to do. There's prison in Niobe. It's just getting tough. Ugh. Maple Grove and your pants up for adoption, Maggie and Mark. Okay, if you want pants up for adoption, I suggest you rich suburban people line up and get these pets, you know, and that, uh, and we want you good folks to have the Rottweilers and the pit bulls because the ones in the poor side of town never walk their dogs. They keep their dogs inside and make them mean, and they go attack their neighbors for whatever little reason they have, such as being too loud or something, because instead of calling the police in the poor areas, they use these vicious dogs to attack their neighbors, and that's shameful. So, if you need a, to adopt a dog, go to Patch and Pathfinder. They have you covered. Get yourself a good four-legged dog for your own personal use. Just for the, the rich, classy people, okay? We love animals. It's at April 19th. Maple Grand Police pursuing active leads after driver fatally shot during traffic altercation. It was at Cranny 30 in Garland Lane North. And the poor man died of his injuries. His name is William Floyd Hare. I'm tell you this. People, like, hmm. I'm gonna do something about this crime, I tell you. Hmm. I get so upset with this. 
This is my favorite one, Maple Grove Homes for Sale. There's one for $2,150,000 and $6,451 Archer Lane. Two million dollars on sixteen four hundred County Road eighty one. There's one for one nine five zero sixty four sixteen Archer Lane. One eight seven five sixty three thirty eight Yuma Lane North. And there's one for one eight million eight hundred fifty thousand dollars thirty nine fifty five Cheshire Lane North. One million eight hundred twenty thousand sixty three fifty Yuma Lane North. And there's one for one million six hundred eighty thousand dollars. Sixteen five zero nine sixty third place North Maple Grove one million five hundred eighty five thousand sixty three zero three Black Oak Slain Dark. There is one for one million five hundred forty nine thousand dollars sixty two ninety six Yuma Lane North one million four hundred ninety nine thousand sixty two ninety five Zine Lane North one for one million four hundred ninety five thousand dollars sixteen five zero one sixty fourth Avenue North another one one million three hundred thirty four Thousand five hundred dollars, sixteen five thirty one sixty fourth Avenue North. Not quite finished yet, but and I hand the money you finish the house. That's all right. I know some of you with money just come in. This is my thoughts in suburban community news. Now it's just been a lot of crime. Yeah, it's a shame. All these scumbags are coming into Maple Grove and causing problems. I'm doing the best I can as President of Naomi. Now, as far as the animal shelter is concerned. Now, if you rich people need dogs, you know, that's great. Just, and I hope the animal shelter raises the prices as high as they can, so that way the poor scumbags don't buy those poor dogs, and, and then they end up abused or dead, because poor people can't take care of animals like rich people. Yeah, I know that for a fact. And also, as far as real estate is concerned, you know, I want the rich people to come. Just come over, please buy your houses, you know, bring your tough relatives over, be vigilant, watch your carjackers, watch your people who steal gas at the gas stations, and protect your neighbors, protect your friends, because they care about you. And then you rich women, you know, then you're in lonesome, and a little bit of money to me, from you, you know, and it helps me out a lot. I'll, do what I can with you. I'm going to have to close my eyes or, you know, you always put a bag over your head or something. That, that's fine, you know. And I know my tongue is going to taste sour and stuff. I mean, blah, some of you women, yuck. You know, you sexy young women, you know. Hey, don't worry. I'm covered with money, okay? And as president of Niobe, I try very best to keep Maple Grove, Minnesota and this big suburban community happy. That's my job. I feel I've done the best job I can. And as far as those police officers are concerned, they got laid off in Minneapolis to protect the kids. Come to our rich suburbs. We welcome you. We we'll pay you generously. And always help the richer people. So that way, they will help you more. That's the way us rich people work. So this is Tim Van McKeldin, the best news teller, the sexiest man, the classiest guy. Every w woman's dream, all women provide the money, and the young women provide the, the pleasure. And the inexperienced is the most fun. Because I'm like a teacher. Okay? Bye-bye. The sexiest man in the world, which is me. I buy eight women over for the taste. And common people and poor people should be mixed. But it makes me happy. Poor people are so disgusting and I'm gonna make you happy. I'm gonna be the 
best teacher I've taken in inexperienced women is the other women and take their money because I knew how much she loves me. We just put this bag over your head. And oh, that takes us out of oh, ugh, to be ugly old women. Anyway, it's your pleasure to see a cool man like me. Bang, I'm the greatest. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. You better believe it.